When I first started making videos, my project files were an incredible mess. I would have assets scattered all over the hard drive and I would just kind of pull them in haphazardly and it would let me edit and export the file, but heaven forbid I ever had to go back into it, half the files would be missing and I'd never be able to find them again. And there was no way I could archive my projects because I couldn't find all the assets and put them together in one place to move them off my hard drive. But all that has changed. Today, all of my project folders are completely organized and self-contained. I can move them around, back them up, archive them, do whatever I need to do with them. I never accidentally delete files I've used in a project anymore. I can locate any asset from any project in seconds. How did I do it? Well, I'm gonna show you. I'm James Archer and I make videos about making videos, or in this case, about organizing videos. The general principles I'm gonna talk about here will apply to almost any editing platform. I use Adobe Premiere, so that's the specific example I'm going to give, but the general ideas will carry across whatever software you're using. First, I created a folder where I will put all of my video projects so I always know where to find them. I put this on an external hard drive, but you can put it somewhere else if it works better for you. If you work on multiple large projects or you have many types of videos you do, you can create subfolders to kind of keep those organized. For example, if you're a videographer, you might want to separate your corporate videos from your wedding videos, so you could just create a folder for each of them. Then within that video projects folder, I'll create a separate folder for each individual video that I'm working on. I start each folder with the date I started working on it in ISO 8601 format, which is the most correct way to write a date. It actually makes it super easy because it's sortable. You put the year first, then the month, then the the day so when you sort it everything makes sense and it's really helpful to have your folders in chronological order so you can figure out which ones are the old ones and archive them more easily then within each folder i have the following subfolders footage this is where i'll put all the video footage that's going to go into this project depending on the size of it i may split this into subfolders so i might have one for a roll one for b roll one for stock video, one for footage from other sources, one for screen shares. It just depends how big the project is and how much footage I have. And when I'm transferring from memory cards, I will move the videos directly from the memory cards into this folder so that they're always attached directly with the associated project. I used to take all my videos and put them in a generic videos folder by date and then move over the ones that I needed, but it's a lot harder to keep them straight that way. The main goal of this approach is to keep everything associated with a video in a single folder. Then I'll have a music subfolder for any of the music I use in the video, a sound effects folder for any sound design elements I include, images for any graphics or photos that I include in the video, exports, which is where I put the video once I'm done with it. So once I compile everything together and encode it as an MP4, I'll store that MP4 in this folder so I always know where it's located. And if I'm exporting in multiple formats for YouTube and TikTok and Instagram and whatever else, I'll put all of those exports in this folder. And then thumbnails. In the thumbnail subfolder, I have a Photoshop template that's already set to the ideal dimensions for a YouTube thumbnail. And then I have an assets folder within the thumbnails folder to collect any stills or photos or graphics that I use in the thumbnails themselves. When I'm done with the project, I'll open up the Photoshop file, pull those pieces in, and edit together the thumbnail. Then I'll export it and I'll save all the versions of the thumbnail that I might have in this same folder. The best part of all this is that the project folder is now completely independent. I can do anything I want with it, move it anywhere, nothing's gonna break, it's not gonna get disconnected from anything, no files will be missing. And also all I have to do is copy this folder template and it's got everything I need so I'm ready to go. I start pulling the assets in, open the Premiere Pro project file, start dropping stuff in, start slapping it together, and before you know it, the video's done. And it's consistent from project to project, which means I don't have to try to remember where I put something, I always know where everything's located. And yes, it takes a few extra seconds here and there to pull the files into a single folder before you import them, but this process has saved me so much time and hassle over the past year that there's no way I go back to having scattered files. And that's it.